Fury Labs, what we've created is the Centrifury. Uh, basically what it is, real simple, is a human centrifuge. Ready? It's powered off of a uh, golf cart motor. It's over two and a half horsepower and uh, can spin over 5 Gs. Basically we saw the videos online of all the kids uh, with merry-go-rounds and the scooter, with the scooter on the, or motorcycle on the merry-go-round, and spin it up and basically almost kill themselves. Uh, and so uh, we saw that and we decided we want to make a safe version. I think we've got some uh, Arduino relay shields uh, that, that we got from Spark Park. No one has yet to puke. Maybe today will be different. Nate, how was that? Oh, that was fun. Oh, that was good. Photo. Nice job. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Rob Faludi and I work with Digi International, which makes the XB radio. My favorite project today is the XB Symbol Monkey. So this shows you how to take a Symbol Monkey and hack it so that you can access it over the internet. So right from my iPhone, I can go ahead and I've got the little PHP script. You press the button, it goes out over the cellular network, goes through iDigi and runs the Symbol Monkey. We're really thinking you would use it as an alert. So let's say uh, sales are going haywire on your website. You could have that trigger the Symbol Monkey to let you know. This is kind of an ambient alert that's a lot of fun for anyone to build. I'm Brandon Stafford from Rascal Micro and I build this, the, uh, the Rascal, which is a, a basically an Arduino and a web server squished into one processor. It's an ARM9 processor that uh, basically maps URLs to Python scripts and allows you to control Arduino hardware from web pages. So this is a robotic vehicular drone that is autonomous or can be controlled. The idea was a rugged robotics platform that you could send anywhere. You could put tank treads on it, you can put your own camera equipment on it. One of my dreams is to land a quadricopter on it. Maybe towns and municipalities can use it, but certainly any hobbyist who wants a serious rugged platform now has one. There's an Arduino, a digital potentiometer. It goes through Wi-Fi, through PC, to the Arduino, which sets the digital potentiometer, which sends the voltage to one or two controllers, which creates a sort of a skid steer vehicle. I think there's actually a lot of stuff in here I got from SparkFun. Probably a majority of them. I'm Aaron Horowitz, and this is Jerry the Bear. He's a totally interactive learning tool for children with type 1 diabetes uh, that teaches them everything from how to eat a healthy diet to monitor their blood glucose levels. And so you can check Jerry's blood glucose level just by squeezing his hands. So you squeeze his hands, and I'll tell you how he feels, and I'll show you his levels. So he's 149 right now. So say it's around lunchtime over here in New York. Jerry's a little bit hungry, so we can uh, reach into his backpack and grab all sorts of foods. You know, a juice box, a piece of toast, a glucose tablet, banana, and to feed him, we just stick, take the food and we stick it in his mouth. So he'll recognize what kind of food it is, and he does that by color identification. Now this was 15 carbs, and for kids with diabetes, carbs convert directly into sugar, so his blood glucose level is on the rise. We have to give him some insulin. So we reach into his backpack once again, we pull out his insulin pen, and we can inject him in any of the sites on his legs, or on the backs of his arms. And so we'll just tap on one of his sites. He'll auto-calculate the right dosage, press the check, and you're good to go. You just took care of Jerry. So you can play all sorts of other games, jokes, and hear stories by squeezing his ear. And thank you guys for, uh, you gave us right in the beginning of our prototyping phase, SparkFun was nice enough to give us a small grant to, to get us started. It really, really helped us. You've been an incredible resource to, uh, to get all sorts of parts from sound chips to Arduinos to uh, buttons and sensors.